Hey makers this is Truveen and in this episode I am going to talk about how we can import and export the solution using Power Platform CLI This is one of the quick way to export import the packages from one environment to another environment or from one tenant to another tenant Most of the time when we need to do the deployment from dev to pre prod and pre prod to prod most of the time I have seen many people are exporting the solution first using the manual export button and then they are importing it in the manual process now how we can somehow automate that with the help of power platform cli let's talk about that in depth in today's video but before that if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far please do follow me so without further delay let's get started over here you can see that i have one of the solution called august solution in my particular environment this is my default environment and what i want to achieve here is i want to export this solution and import it to this yt power pages environment so let's get started and check the automation process first of all before you get started i need the environment url for the source and target environment so let's go to the setting here and click on the admin center to view the environment url so let me go there and click on my environments and let me copy both the environments url so this is the target environment and this is the source environment let's pick up the url from here so i'm just clicking on my default environment copying this url from here and let me paste that into my one of the notepad file let me process the same for my target environment if your target environment in is in the different tenant then you need to follow the same technique for that i'm copying this and i'm pasting this over here so it's all good now now let me open my visual studio code to open up the power platform cli over here i already installed the power platform cli if you don't know the step for installing the power platform cli then follow some of my previous video where i have explained the power platform cli installation process reference link is available in the description box so over here when you open the power platform cli uh, open your command prompt or terminal now let's execute a command for creating the authentication profile first and for that we will use this command pack auth then create then we need to provide the name of the profile and url of the profile name you can give any profile name so here i am just giving the profile as truvin default and in url just paste the same url from the default environment from where you want to export your solution so i am just copying and pasting this over here all good now let me copy and run this command so i just copied and pasted my code over here and let's hit enter for the first time it is asking you the credentials over here this connection has been created successfully same way let me create the connection profile for my target environment my target environment is yt power pages right so let's create the same authentication profile for that and for that as well we can use the similar code so let me copy the same code again here let me paste that here and over here let me just provide my another environment means yt target you can provide any name over here and let's provide the url so this is the url that we copied for our target let's copy and paste it over here let's just create the authentication profile for this one as well so i am again going here pasting my command and let's hit enter it will again asking for the credentials the connection profile has been created successfully now if you want to check what are the profiles that you have created for that just use a command pack auth list and it will show you both the connection profile that you have created so you can see this is the first profile this is the second profile the very first thing is that we need to export the package from our source environment which means this one so let's select our first environment using one of the command and for that we will simply use a command pack auth select index 1 we got two profile so first profile is for source and second profile was for target so let's select the index number 1 from that so i selected that 
So you can see that it is showing that this is the profile which is selected now. Now we need to export the solution from there. And for that, we need to use one more CLI command. But before that, let's open up our source solution. So this is my source solution. Let's go to the overview section over here because from there we need to copy the display name of the solution. So over here, this is the display name of my solution. Copy this from here and let's go to my command. Here we will use this command pack solution export. Then we need to path at which path we want to store our exported package. So I have provided C drive and you need to provide the solution name. So over here, I just provided source package dot zip. You can provide any name over here. Okay. Then second parameter is name. So in name, you need to provide the solution name. So this is the same name that we have copied from this specific display name. So let's provide the exit name over here. So I am just providing that name over here. Third parameter is manage. It means that you want to export that as a managed package or unmanaged package. I want to export that as an unmanaged package. So I am making this parameter as false. If you make this parameter true, which means that this package is exported as a managed solution. And the last parameter that we need to pass is include general, which means that it covers up all the files from the solution. So now let me copy this command from here. Let me just go to my command prompt and let's execute that. So I executed this and let's see what it will do. It is start executing the command and you can see that it has started the solution export over here and in few seconds it will finish the solution export. You can see that solution has been exported successfully. Now let's import that solution to the target environment but before that let me show you the exported package over here. So when you go to your C drive, it should be having source package dot zip. So let's see C drive and over here it's source package dot zip. And when you open that source package, you can see these are all the files inside my solution. Okay. So now we need to pick up this path and we need to import that into our target environment. So this is the source environment we have. Now let me move myself to the target environment. So I'm just going to YT power pages and let me go to the solution. Right now, I don't have such solution over here, but now we will import that over here. All right. So let's select our target profile first. And for that, we will use the similar command pack auth select index two. pack auth select index instead of one. We need this target two. So let's first select the profile. So this profile has been selected successfully. All good. Let me use CLS command so I can show you in a proper way. Now let's import that. And to import that, we need to use this command. Pack solution import, then path. Path is the one where you have exported your solution. So this is the same path we have provided when we exported the solution. So source package dot zip, it will pick up that and import that over there. Let's hit enter and see what it does. It is showing connected this solution is importing. Wait for few minutes. And here we are solution imported successfully. And it is showing one sort of warning as well that this is something which is having some problem. So after import, we just need to resolve it. Now let's check this environment. So this is the environment we had. Let's hit refresh and check if my solution is available over here or not. Let's hit refresh. And here we are. You can see that August solution has been imported successfully. Isn't it cool? So with just only two Power Platform CLI command, we have exported and imported solution inside the Power Platform. Hope this video helps you and values your time. If so, please appreciate the effort that we are making to make these videos. Hit thumbs up subscribe my channel and support us throughout this channel. Looking for paid training or paid consultation? The website link is available here. Check out my new training programs over there. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and other social media handles. All the links are available on the channel cover right page. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe my another channel, Digital Dhruvin, where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.